Pedro Diaz de Oliveira held on to this fence as strongly as possible until rescue workers arrived to save him. When I started to get scared, I tried to stay calm because I knew that at the moment, when I couldn't touch the ground anymore because of the depth, that if I got desperate, it would get worse. Then I started to think about calming down and breathing. Tens of thousands of people were evacuated, and many animals too. This video showing this horse stranded on a rooftop for 24 hours being evacuated has gone viral. Rescuers accelerated their efforts as new storms are forecast in the area. It was like in a movie, people asking for help, the helicopter rescuing them. It was horrible, horrible. Rio Grande do Sul is a largely agricultural state. This farmer, showing the devastation, is wary of the struggles ahead. The important thing is that I was able to save my family, and that's what matters the most, life. We lost everything, but our will to rebuild it all is strong, though it's very difficult after 30 years. We need help, otherwise it will be extremely challenging. The government said it would set aside $10 billion to rebuild what was lost. Donations have started to arrive from across Brazil and abroad.